Hey guys, it's Neil again from Harder Texas Armory, and today I want to do a video review of this really awesome flashlight you can pick up at Harbor Freight. Now, this is actually the second one of these that I've owned. I received one for Christmas this year from a family member, and I was so impressed by this little flashlight that I decided to pick up a second one here for work to keep at the shop here. And that's what this one is here. I'm going to use it here at work. But uh, wow, what an impressive little flashlight for the money. Now, Harbor Freight's kind of known for you know cheap Chinese crap, but uh, every once in a while they have certain you know, certain items that are actually worth buying, and this is definitely one of them. So their normal price on these is $12.99, which that right there, you know, is an incredible price in itself. But anybody that knows Harbor Freight knows you can get the 20% or 25% off coupons, apply it to this item, and you're looking at about $10 for this flashlight. And that, to me, is an incredible value. Uh, one, it's a, actually a quality flashlight, and two, it, I mean, $10 is, is nothing. It's very cheap for a flashlight at this level. So uh, definitely recommended for that alone. But uh, I, And I don't think there's a better flashlight out there for $10. I, at least I'm not aware of one. Maybe there are, but uh, to me, I haven't found one yet. And I deal with you know quite a few flashlights. I've, I sell them. Um, I've owned quite a few. And for $10, I have not found a higher quality one than this one. So what are some of the things that make this thing special? So let me let me take a look at the packaging here so you can see some of the, the what the packaging looks like. So here's the actual uh, name here. They call it the Quantum Tactical Flashlight QFL-588. And there is an item number here, which is 63934 in case you want to search for that. But uh, some of the key features, we'll just go over what they have listed here. So you got 588 lumens with this flashlight, which is quite a bit of output. Um, that's impressive, I have to admit. Uh, your range here, they have listed at up to 538 feet, which that is also impressive. And the way, the, the way they're reaching that is because you have an adjustable beam. So up close here, when you have the uh, bezel pushed back or the hood here pushed back, you're in a flood mode, which would be great for home defense, uh, or if you just need to light up a lot of area up close. Uh, but you can adjust this beam out wherever you want and all the way into the extended position here, it has a very tight and focused beam. You can see a picture right there of it that lets you reach up to that long range distance. And that is very impressive. Uh, they claim a, a battery life of over three, you know, three hours and 24 minutes here. And I'm not sure if that's on high or low mode. I'm assuming that's probably high. Uh, I bet on low it's going to go for quite a bit longer than that, but that's just what they have listed on the package here. Again, here's your mode. So you do have three. You have a high mode, a low mode, and a strobe. And then again, there's a look at the uh, focus beam and then the flood here and the strobe. And here on the back of the box, let me refocus this so you can read that a little better. Hopefully it'll be in focus. There we go. So you're looking at a, it says an ultra high uh, efficient SMD LED, which I, as far as I can tell, that's a new style of LED that uh, it's not as complicated as the old LEDs and they are soldered directly to the uh, uh, circuit boards, which in theory should make it more durable. Uh, you do have a 5-2 striking edge, which is nice right there. So you could use this as an impact weapon in self-defense, which is nice. Uh, I like that. <clears throat> You do have the adjustability of your beam pattern, which we already talked about. You have excellent knurling here on the on the main body here of the tube, uh, as well as some kind of jimping on, on the, the bezel portion up here as well. Uh, again, you know, they're talking about the machined aluminum barrel, or which we all know that's what that is. It's uh, anodized aluminum. Uh, you've got an on and off button here at the end, tail cap. And it does uh, come with four AAA batteries, and that's what it runs off of, which that is a, a added bonus, too, that they provide you with the batteries. And then just quickly here, you can look at the rest of the uh, packaging. So we'll get that out of the way, and we'll look at the flashlight in a little more detail. So, again, you do have those that... Uh, that kind of sharp edge here you can use for striking and a self fence, which is nice. Uh, easy to actuate the adjustable beam pattern. You can see how this works. Hopefully, uh, if it's in focus, let me show you. There's a look at the LED there. Uh, that lens is actually a magnified lens. So you can see as I pull it out, it's getting larger because it's magnified. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, and that's how that works, uh, focusing that beam. So again, pulled in tight, it's in flood. 
pushed out, you are focusing the beam uh, for long distance shots. But that's really cool. I haven't really seen that too often. Uh, I did see a, at one time there was a, uh, I think it's a Lux Pro. I'll have a picture of what that looks like popping up right now. Uh, but that flashlight, uh, very similar design, but uh, that flashlight, I think ran for about $30. And again, this is $10, so what a value. Um, here's your knurling, which we talked about. It's labeled quantum. There's your on and off switch. So you do have, just you push it, it turns on. Uh, that's your high mode, very bright, you can see. Uh, that's 600 lumens. If you push it again, it's going to go into a low mode. Just kind of tap it. Now it's in low mode. And it looks kind of like it's flickering like a strobe, but in real life, it, you don't see that. I guess the camera is kind of just picking that up. Uh, but that's low mode. And if you click it one more time or just push, I'm sorry, you don't click fully, you just push. Now that's your strobe pattern, uh, which you could use that to disorient uh, someone if you needed to. And then if you just keep kind of pushing it lightly, you cycle through the mode. So you can see how I'm just barely pushing the button to cycle through, or if you push it all the way, it turns off. Uh, when you turn it off, it always goes back to high mode. So it doesn't have a memory, uh, but that's not a big deal. You know, you just gotta cycle through the modes, whatever one you want. Uh, your battery compartment here, uh, you can see is well done. The threading is, is well done there's no machining uh burrs or pieces of aluminum it's all well done very good threading on the exterior and interior threads uh, here's your battery compartment so there's a look at your four batteries that they provide you with which is this is a harbor freight brand uh, which is not the best battery in the world but it, hey they're free uh, you'll notice here it does have a very robust and oversized uh, o-ring here uh, which is a nice touch. It's not one of those real cheap ones, so it should hold up uh, through years of use. Uh, and that O-ring there keeps, uh, of course, water out of the battery compartment. And again, that narrowing kind of helps to let you uh, grab onto this and not have it slip out of your hand. Uh, what's cool about it is it, it, you can stand it up like this. You can stand it up like this. Uh, you can actually just lay it down like this and it'll, it'll, it'll kind of stay in place too because of those uh, cutouts. Uh, so it's not going to roll off uh, the, the countertop too easy, which is nice. Uh, or you can stand it vertically, you know, either way it will stand pretty, pretty good. But uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with this thing, guys. I mean, I, I really do recommend this. You know, if you need a flashlight, uh, you can't go wrong for $10 for something of this quality. I mean, 600 lumens is nothing to joke about. It's, it's a very bright uh, lumen amount. Uh, and the ability to have flood or a focused beam is also a positive. And, and the overall build quality is good. I mean, look at the anodizing on this is well done. Uh, it's high quality aluminum. Uh, you do have, you know, O-rings, everything's sealed. So it's pretty waterproof, basically. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. Again, we're just talking about a flashlight here, guys. But uh, definitely, if you haven't checked check these out, I recommend them. Uh, definitely uh, take a look at them at uh, uh, Harbor Freight. If you got one locally, you know, go in there and look at them. You'll, I think you'll be impressed by them. So, highly recommended for me, Neil Harder Texas Armory. If you got any questions on this, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And once again, this is Neil at Harder Texas Armory. And y'all guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one.